Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. Well, today I have something I came across and I thought I'd make a video on it. I'm not an expert. I don't know any more than you do. This is more of like an open forum. That's how I like my videos to come across, hopefully. Uh, not that I'm giving advice. Uh, well, maybe I am giving advice whether it's good or not i don't know that's something you would have to determine but i came across this this subject called um how old are you what is your true age and i saw some doctors and some health specialists talk about this subject and what they were talking about was your chrono your chronological age and your biological age. I've always wondered about that, especially now as I'm getting older. Uh, I will be 61 next month. This is, today's actually June 10th of 2024. And um, so I'm a month away from turning 61 and uh, the big number 62 for retirement. That's still up in the air. Uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of encouragement by the video I made about the retirement age. But anyway, chronologic, chronological age, I can't even say it right, is, the, is how many years you've been on this earth. What is your birth date? In my case, um, I'll, I'm 60, I'll be 61 next month. Um, and what's your biological age? And there's a lot of factors that go into play from all the experts that I've watched. And basically, um, it could be you have to do it like almost per organ. So let's say your heart, you are, like in my case, I'm 61, but my heart is 35 or my lungs are 80 years old or my liver is 50 years old. And these, all these factors are, they say it's mostly driven by you, your genetics. So some of the things you can't do anything about, but they were saying that you can largely influence your, your uh, biological age by your lifestyle what you eat, if you exercise, using your brain, that's another thing too, your mental health, if you went through some, if you're always going through some hardship or drama, you know, some people just can't get out of drama or hardships, whether it's their doing and just not removing themselves from a situation or uh, just bad stuff just happens to them. I don't know. Uh, in my case, I do drink, but I'm more of a social drinker once, twice a week, maybe. Um, I did smoke for combining all my years together, probably around 18 years, I'm thinking 15 years. So maybe my lungs are 80 years old. I don't know. I've, I've never been told anything that there was something wrong with my lungs and whatnot. Um, I did do some x-rays, so maybe it'll come out in there. I just did some x-rays last week for my back. That's for another problem, but my lungs should be in the picture. That's what I'm saying. I always wondered about that. You know, how much damage did I do to myself? And I wasn't a heavy smoker. I, I mean, a pack of cigarettes would last me three, four days, you know. So, um, I do get blood work done once a year, maybe even sometimes twice a year. And uh, all my m markers are really good, you know. I have high blood pressure, uh, which is in my family. Um, most of us have to take. But I am down to half the medication that I used to take. Uh, and the cholesterol medicine, I will only take it three times a week. And it's supposedly not a, a big dose. 
So I'm I'm just like borderline. If if I lost some weight, I'd probably get rid of all that stuff. Dude, that's the that's probably the honest fact. But one of my biggest foes is eating. I love to work out. I I, I you know I I've always I've had that habit for a long time. But those different factors in your life will determine what your biological age, which is, I think, more important in that can determine how long you live and what the quality of your life you live. What's good live? What's the use to make it to 100 years old if if you're bedridden or if you're um, you're you're not having the quality of life and able and your freedom to move around and and just do things in your life that you want to do just whatever those things are so like i said i'm not an expert on this field and i don't want to come across that way i'm just putting this out there so a lot of us that are of the same age we can talk about it and and, and maybe learn from each other and and maybe share your stories and see what if you have something to say on this uh, matter but yeah that's a, that's very interesting just look on on um youtube and search uh what is your real age and and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff come up and and different experts come up but that's basically what they're saying is that your biological age is, is determined by your overall health uh, and it could be you know just because you had a good heart but your liver is bad you know all there's all kinds of combinations there it's it's too hard to determine and uh, yeah just so uh, so comment down below like and subscribe I never say that but uh, I've gained a lot of new followers and I'm having I'm feeling like I should transition my channel to like older people issues. Uh, uh, you know, cause I'm prime, you know, I was a gun channel and motorcycle and travel and just little stuff like that. I never talked about or not much about these matters, but I'm very interested in, in these things. And these are things that I've always been interested in. And I just didn't really share it as much as I uh, would. I mean, as I do now. And that's because of all the new followers. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.